everyone, welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and this week we got a special battle for week five. We got the Zamora Bowl. We got Steven Zamora, my brother, versus me, Joe Zamora. So Dallas Rockstars versus the New England Chartriots. Let's get it. Oh, it's gonna be an amazing battle. I already know it. It's gonna be hard out, drawed out battle, and um certainly going to be a sight to behold here um we did some fun pre-scouting and uh we talked about who we thought each other were bringing after we made our team i called five of his six he called three of my six so uh let's see who's more prepared all right so here we go we got bearclaw and julia Great leads on his part, and we got Jill Frost versus Sonic Freeze. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get up our snow warning here. Now, question for me. How fast is Julia? Eh, I can't really say too much because he's sitting over there. Okay, so this is going to be a very interesting play here. Alright, so Jill Frost goes ahead and gets up that protect. Sonic Freeze goes for the Ice School Crash. Straight into Crocodile. Bear Claw goes down. Without a problem here. And I'm assuming we're about to see a Heat Wave come off of that Salazzle. And it goes ahead and connects with Sonic Freeze. So Sonic Freeze goes down. So good first turn. A shot for shot. Alrighty, now we got some uh, planning to do here. What's gonna go come in? All right, so we got Lobo de Luna coming in, and Optigun's gonna go ahead and sit out front. All right, let's see what we decide to do here. All right, let's see what he decides to do here. Julia took out one Pokemon already. Does he go for another Heat Wave? We're going to bring Julia out, bring in Dracula to take his place. That is the shiny gold bat here. Lobo de Luna goes protect, and that means our uh, those combats not going to go off into where we wanted it to. And so Lazo's going to get a decent hit off with the uh, Heat Wave. Oh, misses Dracula, though, but Punk Rock still has got to take a hit. All right, so here we go. Everyone's taking some chip damage from hail. And we're going to go ahead and try to do something here. waiting on him to decide his moves we are ready to go with this with whatever we just pulled out here so he switches out Loba de Luna and goes schnitzel very interesting play and we're gonna go ahead and go close combat here into schnitzel So our defenses are going down. He has Rocky Helmet, so very defensive there. And Punk Rock goes down to the Heat Wave. Oh, 
when Julia evaded the the attack there. So that's not good for us, but you know, is what it is. All right, so now Nessie hits the field here. And let's see what Steven decides to go for now. All right, so Julia comes out of the party. In comes Hypnotic. Very interesting play here. And we're dyna we're Gigantamaxing, actually. G-Max Lapras about to hit the field. All right, let's see what he does with Dragonite here. All right, Dracula goes ahead and gets faster, so we have our Tailwind off. Are we now faster than Dragonite? We are! G-Max Renaissance is going to pop off here. And down goes Schnitzel. So Schnitzel doesn't even get to do what he wanted to do. So now we got Polyrath on the other side of the field. Golbat setting up our Tailwind. And um, Lapper's sitting at full health. So Nessie is doing fine here. All right, let's see what he decides to go out to here. Oh, and he goes straight to Lobo de Luna. Let's see what he decides to go with here. Excel Rock from Lobo de Luna onto Dracula. We live on eight health. So Lobo de Luna takes some... Uh, Psychic damage, we get a Giga Drain off. Real good damage off on Lobo de Luna. Those screams from the Aurora Veil certainly helping us out there. And we get the Max Mind Storm off on Hypnotic. So everything's looking fine and dandy here. Oh, he's got the Berry. So he gets his citrus berry going off and hypnotic goes for the rock slide and activates our weakness policy so now we have double special attack and double uh, attack so now we're going to go ahead and choose our moves We are both sitting at four Pokemon left. Battle can go either way. Oh, Lobo de Luna used Excel Rock. So down goes Dracula here. Lost some HP there, but we're going to go for the Max Geyser here. And Lobo de Luna goes down. Hypnotic goes Drain Punch and doesn't do much. But it will get some health back for sure. All right, so Diamond comes in here, and Magneto hits the field, and we are no longer Dynamaxed here. All right, so we're going to make a move here.
Diamond comes back out, and Joe Frost comes in to change the weather. So Psychic comes off into Hypnotic, and down it goes. Thunder comes off for Magneto, and it does not connect. Our Tailwind has petered out, though, so Lapras isn't going to be as speedy as it was. And Julia re-hits the field here. So now we're going to go ahead and switch Jill Frost back out. Go into Diamond again. And he's Dynamaxing here. I'm assuming he's Dynamaxing. Uh, la oh no, the Magneton. Good choice on his part. Heat wave pops off and Diamond avoids it, but Lapras is still going to take the hit. And then Magneto goes Max Lightning into Nessie. And we do not live that at all. This could be the turning point here. I honestly have nothing for that Magneto. Yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> I think Steven got this one. Saving Magneto to the end was a very smart play. Because we have nothing to hit that, honestly. So, yeah, Steven, GG. I think you got this one. Like, for real, I have nothing to hit the Magneton. We'll get Blizzard off. Julia will not go down, which is another problem as well. And Max still Spike should take down Julia, Jill Frost. Oh, but we hang on with the Sash. Sadly, though, uh, Julia will outspeed us next turn. So that's going to be a 2-0 victory to the Dallas Rockstars. So GG. Alrighty guys, I'd like to thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all in week six.